Hi guys, happy new year. This is one of the very first videos I wanted you guys to see since it's highly requested. It's all about round lab birch juice moisturizing sunscreen SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. This sunscreen is said to be a moisturizing sunscreen that protects, replenishes and hydrates the skin. It claims to be cast free, easy to blend, hydrating and can layer with other products. So we see how that works. So I got this sunscreen off Notino NL. So definitely I got 100% the good stuff. It's a 50 ml sunscreen and it comes sealed. I like that. So it's time for me to do a hand swatch for you guys. I haven't tried out this sunscreen before. So it's a first time, first impressions. Ooh, I like what I see. So this is what the sunscreen looks like. I'll just go ahead to swatch it down. Oh, I love, I love the texture. Feels really good, lightweight. I'll just go ahead to blend it in so you guys can see. So I'm done spreading it. I'll give it some time for it to air dry and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is what the back of my palm looks like after the sunscreen has sunk in. No single cast and no shine. I like how the back of my palm feels. I want to try it on my face right now so we can both see if this is going to leave me with a cast or not. Hopefully not. So I have my measuring spoon here. If you're wondering why I use a measuring spoon, it's because I don't want to use two less. I could use more if I want. So I'm going to go on to pump this sunscreen into the spoon. If you want to apply sunscreen on your neck, go with the same amount you applied on your face. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be applying the sunscreen on my neck. So one thing I like to do is to spread, then blend. So it has sunk in well, it's time for me to blend in. This is such a nice, oh my eyes. But too early to have sunscreen get into my eyes, guys. I think it got in and it kind of like, ooh. <laughs> oh my. I don't want to cry. God. <laughs> Please help me. Alright guys, I'll be back. I want to get like tissue paper to wipe my eyes and I'll be back. I don't think you guys can see anything. I don't even know if my face is well focused on the camera, but okay. I'm just going to use this to wipe it off. Okay. I'm done wiping my eye area, but because I've cleaned that area, I'm just going to go in with the bits. But this time, I'm not going to get make it get close to my eyes so now i can tell that if this gets into my eyes it's gonna sting me so i'm just gonna do this and this and blend in there's no point waiting anymore i just go ahead to blend just avoid it getting to your tear duct but mine is not just my tear duct, it's like the whole line. Guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel already, please hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. So in terms of how this feels, I'd say that it's really lightweight. In terms of the finish, it's not matte and it's also not dewy. You know what? Let me go outside and show you guys what my face looks like with natural light because right now it's studio light so I don't really see myself looking dewy. When I feel my skin, I feel a bit of like, you know, sheen going on there. So let's go outside and see how this looks with natural light.
So in terms of finish, this is not matte, it's not dewy, I find it skin-like. In terms of how it smells, hold on, it smells like wood, it smells like tree. So I believe it's the birch that I can perceive, but it's not overpowering whatsoever it's not also overwhelming it's it's just really faint you may not necessarily pick it up is this dark skin friendly well so i'd say that it's 50 50 if you like way darker than i am you would definitely see some form of tint on your skin so what type of sunscreen is this this is a chemical sunscreen the sunscreen filters are uvinol a plus uvinol t150 uvasub heb and Tinosub M. This reminds me so much of the beauty of True Sun sunscreen having the same ingredients and it's also a chemical sunscreen. I'm sure you'll be wondering, you know, chemical sunscreen with a cast. Tinosub M is the reason why there's a bit of tint. Sometimes it's a heat or mist for me. Tinosub M could leave a cast or not. So, who do I recommend this sunscreen to? Right now, the weather is cold, it's winter, so I feel like every skin tone can definitely use this. However, if you have oily skin, it's like, in some way, it's like, you know, 50-50. It all depends on what you like in terms of, you know, sunscreen. Since I compared this with the Beauty of Just Sun 1, I'll just leave the link on the screen or in the description box so you can get a better idea of what I think about that one as well and um, help, it would definitely help you make, you know, better decisions um, in terms of eye stink or peeling i'll say that this definitely stings my eyes you, you may not experience it i have you know quite sensitive eyes in terms of peeling this doesn't peel pairs well with the products i use there's no form of peeling so i like that in terms of price i can't remember how much i got this but just give me a moment i got this for 26 euros 65 cents expensive if i've gotten this off the websites i normally would shop my you know korean products from i would have gotten this cheaper so make sure you check the links in the description box as well as in the comment section for where you can get this for cheaper than $20. So overall, this is very lightweight, hydrating, non-drying, refreshing sunscreen to use. I really do like the texture of the sunscreen. I don't like the fact that it stings my eyes. I also don't like the fact that it leaves me with a bit of, you know, tint. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you do, please leave a comment. Give this video a thumbs up as it helps push my content to others. You can also share it to others as well. And lastly, subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching and do have a great year.